Hello and welcome back. In this short presentation, we'll go over how to get baseball data in R and answer some questions. Let's open new R script file. Only library that I will use is dplyr. For baseball data, you can go to seanlemon.com. So there is a CSV file that provides data up to the end of 2022 season. Let's click on this and it's about 9.5 megabyte file in a zipped format. So if I double click, it will extract all files in various folders. So one of the folders is core and I'm going to use batting.csv. If you are working through cloud, we need to go to files and then upload file, browse and then locate the file that we just now downloaded and we are interested in batting.csv. Okay. So you can see this batting.csv file gets uploaded about 6.6 .6 megabytes. Now let's read this CSV file so that we can look into it and see what it contains. So we'll save this in batting. So read.csv and then file.choose run. So now it will ask us which file we want to read. So select batting.csv and that file becomes available. So it has uh, over 112,000 rows of data. So huge data set and there are 22 columns. If you click on this, you can see you have player ID, year ID, team ID and so on. So a lot of information available. So what each column means, I have listed it here. For example, G means games, AB means at bats, R run scored, H hits, similarly HR is home runs, SB is stolen bases and so on. If you do STR batting to look at structure of the data, so it also gives you a quick summary of all the variables. Let's see who all are the top players in terms of number of runs scored. So we'll start with our data called batting. And then in DPLYR package, we have percentage greater than percentage, also called pipe. So we connect this data to next line of codes using this symbol. We can do command shift M. Out of all this data, if we are looking to identify top players and also how many runs they have scored during their career. So basically we are looking for output where we need two columns. First column could be name of the player and the second column could be total runs scored. With that in mind, we need to find a way to group a player name. So a player may have played in several seasons. So we need to group player name such that the name of the player only appears once. So that could be our first column and the second column should be the total of all the runs scored. So we can do that by using group by and then player ID. So select this, connect this to next line of code where we summarize because we need to take a sum of all the runs. So click summarize. So we can put all the runs in, let's say runs, which will be equal to sum of one of the columns is R. And looking at the definition, we know that R stands for number of runs code. So we can say sum of R. Now when you run this, it is going to add all the runs scored for every player, but this is not in order. If you want to arrange this in descending order so that we can see who are the top players, we can add another pipe and then say arrange. DESC for descending and then we can say runs. So you can see all the runs scored are indicated in the second column. We can also put a comma here, hit enter and create more columns just for our information. So let's say we want to include when did they start playing. So that could be minimum and year ID. Select this. Similarly, end. So what was their last season? Again, year ID. One more thing we can put is count. So how many years? N open close parenthesis. So instead of just runs column, we'll also have start and end count. First player started playing in 1979 and last season was 2003. So if you look at this data again and look at year ID, 
and click on that. So the data we have is from 1871 and then click once again up to 2022. Similarly, if we want top players with maximum home runs, we can copy this. So instead of R, we need variable that represents home runs, so HR. So instead of runs, we can say H runs. So this also should be H runs and run. So you can see top players. The top one hit 762, played between 1986 and 2007 and so on. Suppose we want to answer this here with the most home runs. Now we need to visualize that out of the columns that we want. First column will be year in terms of which season and then one of the columns will be total home runs. So let's copy and then modify. So now we don't want player ID because first column should be year. So as you type year ID pops up select and the other things look okay because we are interested in home runs. So if you run this you can see in 2019 season there were 6776 home runs. So now you can try these questions. Who has the most stolen bases? Who struck out the most? Player who has the most triples? Player who has the most doubles? Player who has the most hits? Year with the most stolen bases? And year with the most caught stealing? You can try answering these seven questions and feel free to share them in your comments. Thanks for watching. See you soon.